Hello and welcome to PMQ's Pizza Kitchen. I'm your host, Brian Hernandez. And today I'm gonna to show you one of my new favorite pies, the Amelada goodness. Or more simply put, the breakfast pie. Now I was inspired to make this pie after visiting my friend Matt McClellan, inventor of the pizza diet and owner of Tour de Pizza in Tampa, Florida. He showed me some of the staples that he ate on his pizza diet and I immediately grabbed onto the idea of a breakfast pie. I took it home and customized it to my own taste. And that's the beauty of this pie, is how easily it can be made to fit anyone's tastes. It's just like making an omelet. It's highly customizable. So for today's recipe, we're gonna be using the following ingredients. We're gonna need an 18 ounce dough ball stretched out to a 14 inch pizza, five ounces of egg beaters, three ounces of diced tomatoes, two ounces of diced white onions, three ounces of diced green peppers, seven and a half ounces of cheese. I like to use a mozzarella cheddar blend two and a half ounces of bacon, and four ounces of diced or sliced ham. All right, so to get started, we're gonna take our 18 ounce dough ball, slap that into about a 14 inch pizza, and we're gonna add the egg beaters on top, and you're gonna just spread it around with a flat spoon or a spoodle, just as you would any other sauce. Get it all the way out to the edge. And then we're gonna take about two ounces of our cheese, just put it on the bottom to kind of bind things together. And then we're gonna take our green peppers, onions, and tomatoes, and we're gonna put that right on top of the egg beaters. Obviously, distribution is key on this. You can use less or more depending on your tastes. I like a lot of flavor in my omelets. So next, we're gonna take the rest of our cheese and put it over the top of our ingredients, getting it all the way out to the crust line. Last step, we're gonna take our meats, our ham and our bacon, and put that on top of the pizza. Just a little bit of salt and pepper mix. Not a lot, you don't need a lot because of the meats. Now we're gonna bake this in our oven at about 475 to 500 degrees for about seven to 10 minutes, or until the egg beaters have kind of firmed up. You can tell because they'll have that fluffy scrambled egg texture. All right, so it's been about seven or eight minutes, so we're gonna check on our pie right now. And it is actually looking beautiful. We've got a nice golden brown on the crust. The cheese is looking wonderful. The colors on this thing are just standing out. So what we're gonna do, go ahead and set it over here. And this is the best part of the job right now, is slicing it up and just kind of tasting your invention. It's very good, the crust is very crispy on this. The flavors, excuse me, the flavors just melt like an omelet. Basically, you have the saltiness from your meats and then the, the juiciness from your tomatoes and your green peppers, and then there's that little bit of zing from the onions. And then what really adds to this is the adding that cheddar to it. You can do it with mozzarella or you can do it with a Mexican blend, but if you have some really sharp cheddar, that's gonna bring out the breakfast flavors in this pizza. Uh, there you have it. It's a hearty breakfast for anyone that also makes a great late night snack. We hope you try this recipe in your kitchen and let us know how it works out for you guys. You can also find this recipe at pmq.com slash recipe bank under the Amelada goodness or breakfast pie. Thank you for joining us here in PMQ's Pizza Kitchen. I'm Brian Hernandez, and in the meantime, you guys keep those ovens lit.